Hi, welcome to this tutorial today. What I want to show you is how to make the head and the torso turn in the direction that the camera is looking. Um, if you want to see an example, just skip to the end of the video and then come back. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first thing you'll need is an animation blueprint. Right now, we don't have it. I just have some simple turning animations. But as you can see, if I turn over there, he doesn't turn and so forth. So um, if you want to know how I did this blend space, I'll show you in a second. But uh, first, you want to go into the animation blueprint. And then actually, if you want to know how I did that blend space, just watch my previous video. I'm not going to show it in this one. OK. So um, what we need to do is when you go into our animation blueprint, which I have it called this anim BP Y bot, and you're going to want to create a custom event on the event graph somewhere. We're going to call this line trace direction. There we go, yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get a couple nodes here. So we're going to get the try get pawn owner. We're going to get the actor, actor rotation. OK, actually, no, we're going to get the actor location. Actor location, you'll see what we're doing here in just a second. And then we're going to do try get pawn owner again. We're going to do get control rotation. OK, we are going to get rotation from x x vector, get rotation x vector. We are then going to multiply this. Um, and then we're going to go right click on this little bottom part. We're going to do to float. We're going to make this about a thousand so the head turning works great. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a plus. We're going to add these together. Okay. And now you're going to see what we're doing here. We're going to do a line trace by channel. We're going to plug the get actor location into the start, and then we're going to add this plus that we did into the end. Okay? And now, just to test it real quick, we're going to do, let's see, there we go. We are going to line trace direction. Okay, and we're going to test to make sure this works. Yep, that works. Cool. Okay? So now we're going to go back here, and there's one more thing that we have to do. Um, we have to make, we have to break this vector for the end, and we're going to break this link and split the struct pin on the end. We're going to plug the X and Y into here, and then we're going to clamp the Z. And the reason we're doing this is, we're going to clamp float. The reason we're doing this is, if we do not do this, then the head will turn like, It'll look like he breaks his neck when he moves it. Um, so we're going to clamp this. I found negative 600 to 600 is a good value. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to go off this out hit. We're going to break hit result. All right. And then we're going to go to trace end. And we're going to promote this to a variable. And this is going to be the location wherever the trace ends. We don't need to worry if it hits something or not. We just need the, the end of the line trace and its location. Okay. So I'm going to call this look at direction, all right? And then the next thing we need to do is we need to go to, um, ideally, you would have this in a state machine. I don't have any state machines right here, so I'm just going to do it straight into the output pose. But if you had a state machine, you would do this uh, stuff we're about to do right inside the state machines, like the walking or the gun out or whatever. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in look at. We're going to do skeletal controls, look at, okay? We're going to move this back a little bit here, all right? And then we're going to do this again because we're going to have a head and we're going to have a spine. So that way the whole torso moves along with the head. So the first we're going to do is we're going to do the head. So we're going to scroll down until we see it in our skeleton. Um, so there we go, okay? And then we're going to do the spine. I found that like spine one, the middle spine works great. Okay, so now we have that. However, as you can see, the head, it's going to look weird. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to where it says look at location. We are going to do our look at direction that we made in the event graph. We're just going to bind that to there. We're going to do the same over here. Look at direction. All right. And now he's going to look like that kind of weird in game. Um, and it might look a little weird in game, but we're going to fix that. Yeah, so as you can see, it looks weird here. So it is turning, but it's it's like upside down, kind of. So we're going to fix that real quick. So we're going to go into look at, and we are going to go to look at axis. 
And I believe the one that works for me is to change it from the middle or the Y to the Z. So put Z is one and Y is zero. I believe it's Z. We'll test that in just a second. And I'm going to do the same thing here. There we go. Uh, might be X. Let's see. Nope, it's Z. So now we have our head turning. Um, however, we have an issue. It'll twist all the way. So this is actually an easy fix, very easy fix. We are going to go, first we're going to set the interpolation, interpolation time to 3, just because it'll make it smoother. And then we're going to look at the look at clamp. I found that like 35 for the head and eh, roughly 45 for the spine works well. Okay. So now, if we look, the head will be moving, the spine will be moving, and you've got yourself some dynamic animations there. You can turn off the line trace if you want, but yeah. That's how you do it. So uh, thanks for watching. If you want to know how I set up this blend space real quick, if that's all you need to see, you can end the video. Um, I'm going to go and turn off the line trace visibility, but you can end the video. If you want to see how I did the blend spaces here, um, I'll show you real quick. So I have a walking um, where he walks, and then I made a modified version of it where he goes left and right. And the modified version, all that is, is I just duplicated the walk. Uh, where is it? Walk right here, this walk forward. I just duplicated it, and I took his, where is he? I took his spine, where is it, right here, and I just rotated it, same with his torso forward a little bit, and I did the same for the left, and then I went into the uh, blend space, I turned off snap to grid, and I just put it roughly, roughly in the 15, 13 area. And there you go. That is how you um, set up the look at, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.